This is Mario Lotus, and we're here at the 52nd Founders Ball anniversary, also celebrating Mrs. B, 100th birthday. She is in charge of Rain, co founder, no, she is the founder of Rain, R A I N, for the elderly. And I'm here, you already know who this is. This is Andy King. Say hello. Uh, good afternoon and good evening, Shall We say it's a lovely night, and thank you for allowing me to share a few words with Bronxites and people all over the city of New York. Thank you for being our councilman. I wanted to ask you a question. How did you find this event tonight? Well, I thought it was spectacular, you know, being able to be in a council and, and getting to meet Dr. Torres and knowing B for the number of years I've had, the, the privilege of knowing them for the last 10 years. I've watched the work that she's been doing. i watched how she's improved the lives of so many seniors in my district. The district that I represent, out of the 12 rain centers that rain have, five of them are in my council district. So I spend a lot of time interacting with our seniors. I spend a lot of time making sure I do all I can to provide activities and funding. I was grateful they had an issue at the White Plains Gun Hill Center with their building, and I was able to allocate over $750,000 to fix their roof, fix their windows, so the seniors are there don't have that issue in their living conditions. But B has done such a remarkable job. The Lord has blessed her spirit, blessed her body, that she's still here having these conversations with how to improve. But more importantly, her faculties are together to deliver a message of love and understanding and service. God bless that woman. God bless her as well. She gave an amazing speech today. And I'm so happy and grateful to be a part of this, to be a part of something that means such prestige and upcoming for the future. This is an organization that will last a lifetime, yes. as long as we keep it and preserve it. So what have you been doing lately, Councilman? Well, I've been busy trying to make sure the Bronx sites have a better opportunity and access to greater living. You know, in the council, we're putting funding to make sure that our students have great education and after-school programs and looking for well-around summer jobs. But more importantly, making sure we represent and protect our small businesses in the city of New York. So we're so excited to make sure that our senior sisters, such as Rain, get the funding. We've put so much funding in all our senior communities to make sure that our NORCs continue to strive, our senior sisters community to strive, our management and all our case management for our seniors who are going through any challenges that we deliver on those services as well. Equally important is making sure the homeowners in the Bronx are able to continue to stay in their homes. So we're excited about the work that we've done as a council. Me personally, I've been in a lot of work with partnering with the council, and I have this week coming up where we're going to be honoring law enforcement for all the work they've been doing in the borough of the Bronx. That's why I'm excited about the deputy chiefs, the chiefs, the lieutenants, the officers that we're going to give homage to. You know, we've had some challenges with NYPD over the past couple of years, but more important, you got to recognize those who are doing well and those who have messed it up. You got to hold account. So we're excited about the work yes, we're doing. We have to recognize everyone. We have to recognize that we're a part of this community. We have to give every step. It starts with us. So I know you're going for re-election. All right. So I hope we, we got the votes in. And thank you guys for watching Peek Oppose. Peek Oppose production is P-E-E-K, Oppose production. This is Mari Lotus. And um, I'm New York City Councilman Andy King. And remember, people pay attention to people who participate.